Now we have almost virtual proof that the whole David Petraeus thing is about Benghazi. And how do I know that we have almost that virtual proof? Well, Inspector Louis Gohmert is on the case. <laughs> ...knows that General Petraeus has information that would virtually destroy any credibility that the administration might still have nationally and internationally. So what else would this administration do Positive. but leave? So General Petraeus has information virtually, it's going to virtually destroy the credibility that this administration has because, I mean, I don't know what uh, Louis Gohmert still thinks was happening at uh, Benghazi. Maybe that there was actually like a some type of uh, a flying saucer is landed there and it's underneath the annex and this is what it's all been about from the very beginning and uh, President Obama's, of course, his birth certificate is there in a safe in Benghazi. That's why they were in that annex in the first place to protect the birth certificate. Uh, but let's let uh, Louis Gohmert tell us his, uh, his wackadoodle theory over his head for over a year and a half the threat we're going to prosecute you so you better keep your mouth shut uh, and and actually they know just the threat of prosecution helps diminish uh, potential credibility so if you wonder why General Petraeus has not come out in the last year and a half and said no those weren't our talking points Somebody that created them needs to be prosecuted. It was a fraud on the American people. He's not going to say that. He's got this administration hanging a prosecution over his head. What do you expect? I doubt he'll ever be able to say it without worrying about something over his shoulder coming on after him. So here he is. He's been defensive of the administration. He's been a good soldier, said what they wanted him to say. He hasn't told all he could say. And they're going to make sure he doesn't, or if he does, he pays a heavy criminal price. That's where we are now in America. It may have been the kind of administration Richard Nixon dreamed of, but he knew he could never get there. He couldn't weaponize the IRS. He apparently dreamed of it. This administration has done it. There you go. There you go. Let's just, let's just, just to um, review here. Petraeus knows those talking points. Now, if, if Petraeus came out and said those talking points weren't developed at the CIA, of course, this would shatter everything. Because every single person in the world, international communities just waiting to find out who gave Susan Rice those talking points for that time that she went on Meet the Press when everyone thought that it was about a video or these protests. That's what that is. I mean, it is. What is also amazing to me is that Louis Gohmert, this guy is so brave. The, just the, the intestinal fortitude it takes when he knows what they're doing to David Petraeus to stop that about the talking points. And he's out there talking, shooting it, sh shooting straight. He's not, I'm having to look around my shoulder and looking underneath my armpits and seeing what's sneaking up on me. If you want me, you come and get, uh, get them. It is go time. <laughs> It is go time for you secret things that are doing for and if the Muslim points. African people with their cabs and other things want to come at me, they can. You I'm here. Uh, weaponize your IRS and your FDA and your EPA. You've weaponized FEMA. You've weaponized weapons. Oh, Fast and Furious, which you weaponized. <laughs> you weaponized everything, President Obama. You're 
State of the Union weaponization? General Petraeus, is there anything you'd like to tell us about Benghazi? Uh, no. See, he can't talk. He can't talk. They won't let him because he's dealing with all... They're, they're, they're hanging over his head. We all know Obama's guilty! Unbelievable. We were trying to come up with a bit as like what the uh, what his Russian handlers, Louis Gomer's Russian handlers. You have not said anything sufficiently crazy recently, Comrade Gomer. Comrade Gomer, you must uh, you must uh, have your own uh, rhetorical false flag operation where you uh, you must continue to remind people that uh, you are going to portray someone who is bat crap crazy. And if you don't go out there and talk, we don't have anything new. Recently, you've been more like garden variety idiot. <laughs> we need something to remind. Bitterly, oh, this is good talking point. You are not afraid. And everyone, I <laughs> say, every, everyone in the world is waiting to find Benghazi. This will be good. Everyone is seems on to have pins come and from needles. Kazakhstan. How did you get in? To I'm the a Russian Kazakh bar. agent who has moved up FSB, a new Soviet system. <laughs> we are a progressive country. Uh, My wife, she <laughs> don't like the intelligence I do, but I hear the Louis Gilbert is a pain in my assholes. <laughs>